Hi, and welcome to Tech Tips for Microhawk. In this video, we'll be discussing the ordered output function, what it does, some possible applications, and demonstrate how to configure it on your Microhawk barcode reader using the WebLink interface. So ordered output is a method for filtering out or discriminating between barcodes using filters based on specific criteria, such as the length of the symbol data, the barcode symbology itself, or even specific sections of the barcode data within the symbol. Up to 10 separate filters can be applied at one time. Each filter will represent one symbol. So for example, if you'll be presenting a label that has three symbols on it, and you only want to decode and output two of them, you would use the ordered output function with two filters, one filter for each symbol that you want to output. In addition, any symbols in the field of view that match a given filter will output in the same order as the filters are set up. It's important to ensure that each symbol has at least one characteristic unique to itself, so each filter is applied to a single symbol, you know, the symbols that you want. There are many applications where ordered output is used. One common application is when you have multiple barcodes on a single label, which are all visible to the reader simultaneously in the field of view, and you only want to decode a specific symbol or symbols while ignoring the others. You'll often see this on shipping labels as one example, which often incorporate three to four symbols, all with different barcode symbologies and different data, some of which may be irrelevant to your application and you want to ignore. The advantage of ordered output is that any symbols that do not match the filters will be ignored entirely, so you don't get bogged down with a lot of extraneous data. Okay, now we'll demonstrate how to set up ordered output on your MicroHawk barcode reader using WebLink. For this demonstration, we're using a MicroHawk ID30 fixed focus reader, and note this process applies to all MicroHawk ID models. We start by opening a web browser. In this case, we have Google Chrome already open. Enter the IP address for your camera into the address bar. Hit enter and wait for WebLink to load. Once WebLink is open, we can begin the setup. First, we set how many symbols we want the MicroHawk to be looking for. In this case, we'll be looking for two symbols at the same time. We do this by navigating to the upper left corner menu titled Cycle and click the Symbols number and select 2. And notice how the change is automatically accepted by the MicroHawk real time. Next, we can set up the formatted output filters. In the lower left corner menu titled Format Output, click the toggle switch to the On position. You'll notice the blue text has changed to reflect the number of filters currently set, their order, and the overall format of the output string. In this case, you can see we have S1 representing symbol 1, S2 for symbol 2, and then the post sample, which is set as a carriage return line feed. All right, next, we click the blue text format that we were just looking at, and a new window will open. Now we can set up the individual filters themselves. Start by clicking on each selection rule for each symbol filter, and choose the filter criteria that will allow each desired symbol to be decoded to the exclusion of all the undesired symbols that do not match the filters. For this demonstration, we're gonna set the symbol filter one to only decode data matrix symbols starting with an uppercase M, and choose data matrix under symbology type. And since we also want to look for a capital M, we'll click on the underlying text under data and enter a capital M. We'll click outside of that box and the first filter is now set. Now we can set up symbol filter two to only decode code 128 symbology symbols that have 10 characters in them. Okay, so following the first example, we click on the symbology type, select code 128, and set the number of characters to 10 by simply clicking the up arrow here. You could also type that in manually. Now, in the case of multiple symbols being filtered like we're doing here, you'll wanna review your setup and ensure that your filters are set up in the order that you want them to output. Remember, the matching symbols will always be output in the same order as we have them set up here under ordered output, regardless of what order they physically show up in view of the scanner. Last, we simply click done in the lower right corner and save the settings for future use by clicking the Save to Flash Memory button in the upper right of the WebLink interface. We go ahead and click it, and notice the confirmation in the lower right here that says Settings Successfully Flashed. Now we can try some different sets of symbols and demonstrate the ordered output functionality. You can see here when the codes are physically in different positions from each other, or the data does not match the filter, only the symbols that do match the filters are outputted in the same order as set up in the ordered output filter. Any symbols that do not match will not be outputted because they do not match any of the filters. So as you can see, we have one data matrix symbol 
that does not start with a capital M, and it's being ignored entirely, despite the fact that it's clearly in field of view. All right, this concludes our demonstration of how to set up the ordered output using your MicroHawk barcode reader in WebLink. Thank you for watching, and please be sure to check out the tech tips from MicroHawk Library for additional topics.